Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. And today we are going to do a little bit of reading, a little bit of talking about Madden 21 once again. Now, I'm sure you've seen all the, the stuff on Twitter, all the stuff about Madden 21's franchise mode release, like all the, all the um, new changes that they were going to have in Madden 21 and face of the franchise and yes they did change a lot and they improved a lot for face of the franchise but as you can see by the title of this article they did not um really change much to franchise mode they didn't really address any of the big issues <clears throat> excuse me any of the big issues that they were supposed to in franchise mode for Madden 21. So let's get right into it. The title of the article is Madden 21 announces franchise mode features and they're a big letdown. The EA joke continues. The EA joke continues. That is right. The EA joke is real. Like we aren't just messing around now. This is this is a a problem. Uh, but the first little bit of the article says they face heavy criticism with Madden 21 trailer, which they did. Uh, 41,000 dislikes. Uh, yeah, we want improved versions of franchise mode. Uh, they released the gridiron notes for franchise mode in 21 and it's not good. That's not, that's not something that we should be reading. We should be reading that it is good. Why is it not good? Why don't they care about their community? Why don't they care about their franchise community? This is the people who buy the game. Yes, there's people who buy Madden Ultimate Team. And yes, there's people that pay in Madden Ultimate Team to get the, the coins, to buy the cards and stuff. But people like me, I don't play Madden Ultimate Team very much, if at all. And I play franchise mode for fun, for videos, for content, for just to, to relax and play football. I don't play play now. I don't play um, the training stuff. I don't play anything really besides franchise mode in a Madden game so why don't they focus on these people is it not a big enough community but I'll get to that later but here we go oh the the face of the I will admit the face of the franchise stuff I've seen a little bit of it it looks really good so they they do have a a little bit of a buffer right there with Madden franchise mode or Madden face of the franchise looking really good this year uh, you get to go through the combine Pick your storylines, high school, college, position changing. So they, they're doing some good things. They're ha having some good um, ideas, but they're just putting it, they're focusing their ideas heavily in one side. They need to focus and separate them out into multiple different things. But here we go. We got the Man 21 features for franchise mode. Uh, new X Factor abilities. We saw that already. Um, real life expanded wild card playoff round who cares about that i mean that's a nice little touch nice little bit of realism but really that's not what we were going for um improvements on rookie contracts which has been an issue so they did address that abilities dev traits depth charts and playbook schemes for fictional coaches these two last these last two ones depth charts and playbook schemes uh for fictional coaches are issues too that they addressed and i'm happy that they did but these really aren't the yeah see all these are extremely minor improvements yeah that's what i'm basically getting at right here they didn't focus on the big things uh seems like the majority of these could have been updated man 20 with a simple patch yes exactly right uh franchise mode used to be a staple in madden video games spend hours building your team yes uh but as madden ultimate team became more popular the features for franchise mode started to disappear gradually each year until fans got bare bones version exactly right this whole paragraph right here is exactly right. For some reason, once Madden Ultimate Team came in and they started seeing the profits from it, seeing all the coins being bought, seeing all the cards being bought, seeing everything they could, they they saw all the possibilities for for profit. Because you know the stereotype with EA is that all they care about is the profit off of their video games. They don't care about the communities. They don't care about the how the game looks. They don't care if they put out a crappy game like FIFA or something in the past. They just care about the stuff that will bring them back money, which is a little bit upsetting, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna come back on them in the end. Uh, 
but we're what we're getting man 20 appears to be the worst version yet and fans took notice following madden's announcement so here's a couple of of pretty well-known um madden youtubers that went took to twitter to address it and uh, mills twitch says you really bury the lack of updates classic franchise in the face of the franchise blog uh you're created <laughs> yeah uh, this is it's not really that good and then uh, Madden 21 put out a the official EA account for Madden 21 put out their uh, their improvements for for face the franchise, but there's really nothing in there's really nothing in in franchise mode here. They've got high school check, college check, multiple positions, multiple positions, combine storylines. Yes, that's all stuff we wanted, but we also want to play as a whole team. We want to play as a coach or an owner, and we want to sign free agents, draft players, build a team, edit playbooks, do all this stuff and still have this opportunity. So why can't they just focus a little bit on franchise mode and give us similar things? Give us a a chance to recruit high school players and, and like scout high school combines and and scout college combines and scout national championship games or go to the combine and scout uh, NFL prospects. Or do a different NFL storylines. Give us some stuff besides the stuff in Madden 20 where Jonathan Coachman would come up and say, like, oh, your team has been doing this, is 8-0, how do you feel? And it gives you three different choices to make. No, I don't want that anymore. I want some actual, like, good storyline material. But we're not, we're not getting it again. And um, I don't want to click that. Let's go down here to uh, Madden 21 franchise is nothing more than a patch exactly so this this is exactly right um let's go to this twitter or this tweet real quick uh new details or the new st- stuff for uh, Madden franchise x factors make their way into franchise whoop de doo uh we talked about expanded wild card wild card for the playoffs updated all rookie contract amounts to be more authentic to the actual draft rookie contract for all seven rounds yeah that's that's good. That's a little bit of an improvement. Um, return every position's abilities. Uh, eh, nothing really. Fix multiple case cases and logic of players considered for a dev trait. Updated to all team back end depth chart philosophy so they match the team scheme. Uh, added portion or position specific offense alignment archetype, which is actually kind of cool, but it's still a minor improvement. Uh, fix issues where defense players schemes. So this is all just basically nothing really. Has zero updates. Yep, good game, bro. He's a he's a pretty well known Madden YouTuber. He's he's uh, voicing his concerns as well. And then uh, one of the things I hear a lot about is uh, nobody gives any love to franchise. It's all about Ultimate Team focuses about that. Not really. When you think about a franchise, there are things that are put in franchise, but it's never enough. Exactly, it's never really enough. And <laughs> Carry On Johnson <laughs> tweeted out. A picture that's pretty funny. I, I like it where it's Madden 21 up here. Um, let me just go to it and I'll show you. Madden 21, <laughs> Madden World 2 Team, and EA Sports, and the franchise mode's down there. That's a pretty good meme. I like that. But there are a lot of cool new features coming to Madden 21. Yeah, so personal based audibles, zone drops, location based tackling. Yes, these are all good improvements. This is what we need. But we also need franchise mode improvements. Like, yeah, you can update Madden Ultimate Team. You can update the basic um, mechanics of the game, but you can't just forget your most important mode. Your most your your most important mode, the mode that that probably eighty five, maybe a little, maybe eighty to eighty five percent of your consumers of your buyers play is franchise mode. Yes, there's a little bit of a of a portion of the community that plays Ultimate Team, and yes, it is a very fun mode. I played it in the past. It's not like I've never played it. But I've never really spent any money on it because I don't really care about it that much, and I'm probably <clears throat> oh man, I'm probably not going to buy it or buy anything or um, play Ultimate Team this year. I'm just going to focus on alt or I'm going to focus on franchise mode and do the best that I can with the with the content or with the uh, the stuff that I'm given. That's all you can really do when they don't care about their franchise mode like this. Um, Despite the obvious demand for it, which cannot, can be seen in response to any tweet Madden sends out, developers have determined it's not worth their time. Uh, or they're hoping fans of franchise mode will turn 
to face the franchise similar to how fans of NBA 2K have enjoyed my career. Yes, if but but NBA 2K's franchise mode is still better than what Madden is giving us with their franchise mode. I mean, NBA 2K is more in depth. There's different things you can relocate your team. You can change your jerseys. You can fire your GM. You can fire your coach. You can have your choice of what coach you want to be. You can sign different free agents for whatever contract you want. You can play in the G League. You can do all this different stuff. There's plenty more stuff to talk about. And yet, they still have a good My Career mode. Well, it's a good My Career. 2K, they have their own problems with their My I don't want to get... That's a, diff, that's a topic for a different video. But they still have two good modes. Plus, they have... Their NBA, um, what do they call it? Uh, they have their version of Ultimate. I can't, for some reason I'm blanking on what they call it. But they have their version of Ultimate Team. So they have all this stuff. And yeah, they have some some bugs that they have. And they have some some problems that they need to improve. But this this stuff from Madden is just infuriating. Because all they care about is the money and this is just this isn't just madden this is ea in general with battlefront 2 with fifa with madden with anything that they make it's all about the money it's not about the game they could put out a horrible game and as long as they have something that can make them money within the game they'll be a fi they'll be fine with it they'll be totally okay with it and that's not okay with with the the people the people that play the game that is not okay we don't want to buy games that the developers and the creators of the game don't care about themselves why would we care about it if they don't care about it the people that made the game why would why would that doesn't it doesn't go both ways like that it only goes one way it only goes from the creator to us so it all starts with EA it starts with how they want to their game to, to be, how they want it to be perceived. And if they want it to be perceived as just a money maker, then that's fine. Do that. But don't give us this crap like you updated franchise mode when you really didn't. That doesn't make any sense. That just makes your people angry. That just makes your consumers angry. And then you're going to lose money in the end because not many people are going to buy it. It's already saying all these people up here, these prominent... Um, Madden YouTubers are saying that save your money right here. Save your money from from a tweet right here. People aren't going to buy your game if you if they know that you don't care about it. So I don't understand why EA has this set in their mind that they aren't going to change for the good of their company. If they don't do this, some other company is going to buy the rights to to the nfl and the rights to madden and they are going to make a better game people have already tried it it's already been done they haven't made a better game because they haven't had the the uh the equipment or the um the resources to produce a better madden game but ea if you're not careful you're gonna lose something that makes you a ton of money so i hope that madden 21 is the 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 start of a i don't want to sound like it's sort of a revolution i guess I, that's not the right word but there's not really a word coming to mind that i can use in place of that but a so-called revolution within the madden community where madden 21 is the game that forces change upon ea that is much deserved and is well overdue they need to realize that their game is gonna die very quickly it's not going to be a slow methodical death over a couple years it's going to be if if the community is true on what they're saying it's going to be a straight one year decline there's not going to be any sort of room and i just am afraid that it's going to happen it's Madden 21 is going to die, and then Madden 22, they're not going to care again. It's going to be the same game, just with a little bit more improvements to face the franchise and to Ultimate Team and all that stuff, and they're going to forget about it again. It's going to keep going and keep going, and then sooner or later, people are going to stop caring. It's people are going to stop buying your game. So I know that EA is never going to see this, and barely anybody's going to see this at all, but I mean, 
it's just if it's frustrating to know that the people that make a game that is so popular people want to play a football game that's good that has the real license that has the people the players has everything people want to play a game it's so much in demand right especially now in the the world that we live in at the moment people want to get their hands on a game that they can immerse themselves in not just an ultimate team not just in face of the franchise because people get bored of that stuff but franchise mode there's so many possibilities of things that you can do there's so many different possibilities of avenues that you can take and paths that you can send storylines that you can do in a franchise mode that is just not being taken advantage of and it's so infuriating i don't understand why ea is doing what they're doing but let's i have one more thing to to talk about here before we uh, end the video. I want to take you guys to um, Samuel Brown, RBT, as you probably know him on YouTube. You can go follow him at RBT on YouTube or at Samuel Brown RBT on Twitter. Um, now, he's been kind of the the man behind fixing franchise mode. He tweeted out a couple. Let me see if I can find the original tweet. Um, he's done a lot of tweeting here. So... Let me see if I can find I don't know if I can find it. <laughs> he's he's tweeting a lot about franchise mode here. And I respect it. But... Let me see if I can find I can't find the... I'm, it's probably down here too much. He tweets a lot. But here's the one that I wanted to show you guys. So in the midst of a... Uh, what he said was, we did it. In the midst of a global pandemic, we got fix, hashtag fix Madden franchise to number one trending in the entire country. Your consumers are that angry. Your move, EA. So he legit got hashtag Fix Madden franchise to be trending number one in the entire country. And yet, I don't think EA's even noticed. I don't think they responded. Yeah, their last tweet was 14 hours ago. So they haven't even they haven't even responded to they haven't even responded to the fact that their the number one trending uh, hashtag is Fix Madden Franchise. So I don't understand why it's like this, but we can't we can't really do anything about it, I guess, unless we unless we tweet out hashtag Fix Madden Franchise. So I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna tweet not at Samuel Brown. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet later, hashtag fix, fix Madden franchise, and then we will, we will go. You know what? Let me go to it right now, before I forget. Let me tweet, hashtag fix Madden franchise right there, number one. Tweet it out. There it is, boys. I just tweeted out hashtag fix Madden franchise. So, hopefully, we get some sort of change because. This is the EA joke continues is the perfect little title for this article. And it's just frustrating. I don't understand why they do this. But if we don't take charge now, it's never going to change. So I want you guys to tweet out hashtag fix man franchise. Get it into get it into the eyes of ea get it into their minds that they need to change this or they're going to lose their community so that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy make sure to tweet out hashtag franchise man or <laughs> make sure to tweet out hashtag fix man franchise is what i was trying to say and uh smash like on the video hit the notification bell and the subscription button down below and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya